All right, so this is a take two of this. Um, let's try it again. The first one, uh, I just wanted to uh, get the audio better here. But basically, I'm going to look at bolt.new and lovable.dev. Um, I will compare these three applications in, in three different ways. Um, basically, I'm going to look at the uh, speed. Well, not the speed of output. We'll show that on the screen. But they're so close, that won't matter as much. But I want to focus on the ease of use. So anyone, in my case, a developer can go and use it. But I'll consider a non-developer. Um, and then how modern looking is the output, um, which again, there is a difference. And we'll see at the end of this, um, uh, a clear winner, I think, there. And then the biggest one of all uh, is how to deploy and redeploy, which again, another big winner here, which is making me change my tools. Um, so I'm going to go through those three as I build this very simple application. Now the application is just a white noise player. <clears throat> it's going to be a mobile uh, friendly website, very simple. I'll be able to add cards that have a title URL and audio URL, an image URL and audio URL. And so we'll pass that very consistent, simple prompt in. We'll give it an image to help it get a sense of color and layout, or not layout, but color and tone of the app. Um, and we'll see what uh, each one comes out with. Um, I have done this before, so it'll be interesting to see how different it is this time. And the app is very simple. I'll go into more complex apps later on where we deal with database storage, which would be another one to really think about these. Um, and we'll see. Once again, I think one of these has an advantage, and I'll cover that later. Um, all right, let's give this a go. So I'm going to speed through a lot of things as it's um, building, um, but I'll mention the times in the video that it took, and uh, I won't... Um, you know, have you watch me type, I'll speed through those as well. So be prepared for that. Uh, later on too, I'll plug these in N8N. All right, let's see. Let's go start the prompt. Um, I have a time clock here. I don't know how good I'll be at it, but let's give it a try. So we're going to give this guy our prompt. Now, oops, let me sign in. So <clears throat> I actually wanted to mention this. Sign in before you do this because um, it, it, it doesn't lose your prompt, but it can be a little bit wonky. All right, I'm going to reload the page just in case. All right, and then let me give it the image. And you can actually just paste these images in. I think you can do it on both. If not, I'll upload it. Um, and that's it. Just a very simple prompt. But I've seen people do very complex requirements, which I think is great. Um, that's another thing. They've put the requirements file in the folder with the app. Just a really great way to keep prompting and keep going through it and help the system build up. Um, all right, let's see what happens. All right, so about 51 seconds minus my delay there. Um, pretty nice output here. Again, user gets a sense of what's going on. It takes time, but 51 seconds. Um, and it explains itself. It's, it's a good looking background. Um, the first time I did this wasn't that good, so this is good to see. Um, could be my prompt too before. Um, and it explains some things, uh, which is nice at the technical level, but maybe for the non-technical person. So let's give it a go. Most of these, uh, honestly, I've had no problem with this one. So we'll see if this is remains true. Um, and once I get these in my clipboard, it'll be easier. And let's give it a play. All right. Nice card, nice image, nice title. Looks really good, actually. So we're going to um, deploy this after. So let's put the... <clears throat> Same prompt into uh, lovable.dev. Let me get this timer ready. All right. And let's upload that picture. I think I have it right here. And I have it set to private because I have an account. Not that it matters. Um, and then I'm going to leave the configuration to default, but 
I want to dig in here more because uh, there might be some other technologies it's, it, it can use and I want to default to like mobile apps with um, Expo. All right, let's give it a go. All right, a lot longer. Um, one thirty-eight and um, almost twice, not twice. So uh, some of these services, like Levelable, might have um, heavier loads at times, but still, a minute thirty seconds to build an app is not bad. Uh, I don't like the look of it, which last time was the other way around. But let's see what happens. Um, did it get the image? Let's see. Like, I don't see it referencing the image here. So that's interesting. Oh, um, yeah, I don't know. That could be a bug. Um, maybe we'll try that again in a moment. All right, so we haven't tested these for mobile friendly, but I'll look at that in a moment as well. Uh, maybe they even have a thing here. It doesn't look like they do, but as we deploy it, I'll look for that as well. Let's see, let's close that. Okay, so now let's try it out. All right, so that's that. Um, it works. It's pretty ugly. We'll just check uh, if they both do. After we deploy it, we'll check if they do, both do um, persistence. Um, so I want to do one more thing since <laughs> that's kind of odd. I feel like it did not get the image. Uh, let me see if I can get that image. One moment. See how the image is seen there? Um, where up here it's not, so I, I'm just not sure it ever got it. So let's see what happens. All right. I mean, it tried. It says it did it. Um, I assume it applied it, but we do not see it. Um, so we'll leave it at that. All right. Now let's go on to the next one uh, and the final one until we do an edit. We're going to see how well uh, it deploys. Now, the, this is the first deployment. Uh, so I'm going to click deploy, reset, and start. Um, now, <clears throat> this first deployment with Bolt was really encouraging when I first did it, um, but we're going to see in the uh, update test um, how I think it just falls apart. So imagine we built this app and they give you this ni nice Netlify link to claim it, and you'll see it's splendid Cassata. So... Um, What's going to happen? And let me save this so we can shoot, I can keep an eye on it. Uh, it's doing a little bit of something here, uh, almost like it's recreating it. Let's go claim it though. I'm just curious because we can start this process. So I'm going to go claim this on Netlify. 
And this is the guy here that we just claimed. And if we go there, it's here. Now, let's assume it's done. It took uh, less than a minute, we'll say. Um, that was kind of weird, though, because it, it started doing the build again, but um, actually looks nicer. But maybe I click something. We'll just, I've never seen that before, so let's not worry about that right now. So I want to make sure it um, uh, saves state. So that was one of the requirements. And then we'll get into the edit deploy. And that's where we're going to, I think, bolt. We'll see a difference. So let's see if it does the, um, <clears throat> the state. Okay, let's look here. All right. Everything works. I reload the page and it's still there. All right, that's good. And we could do the mobile to see that it, you know, fits in there. Uh, let's add another one just to see how they deal with that. And I'll just use the same sound. Splash. And see what they decide to do here. Yeah, it's nice. Simple. Uh, they did a nice effect last time when I hovered over it. I saw the buttons. Um, this is fine, but the other one was really nice, actually. I guess that would be hard on mobile. Oh, yeah, maybe that's why they did it. Okay, so now we did the first deploy. It went well, like a minute. No big deal. Let's go over here and imagine that it actually did what we wanted. And it's actually already deployed, but I'm going to publish it and see and click it for real. Um, and let's just start the timer. All right, so I'm not so worried about that. Um, eight seconds is amazing. The other one was probably just as quick. It just got caught in that weird loop. So I wouldn't worry about deployment times because they are really good. So uh, let's see, redeploy, here we go. So now this one, the URL is, and they do a smart thing here. They use a subdomain that now is mine and no one else can use this. So my redeploy, that's gonna have an impact. So let's go look at that as we compare them there, but now let's just make sure it works, saves the state. Again, definitely is not winning on looks, which is a bummer because the other one it made actually looked really nice. There's the play, oh, it looks so ugly. And let's add another so we can see the mobile. And let's give this a little bit of a, yep. Yeah. Seems fine. Nice little toast effect there. Good default, honestly. And the sound is working. So that was good. Um, now what we're gonna do is add a delete and edit button um, in case I make a typo. And that will lead us into how can we redeploy these, which is super important. Uh, with Bolt, it ends up becoming me downloading it, opening up in cursor, or uh, I, I wanna try Windsurf. Uh, but in this case, we're going to compare and see how that flow goes. Now, at this point, um, yeah, it says it's here. Okay, so it says it's here and it says, um, okay. So now we're going to add an edit and then we're going to redeploy it. And this is where you're going to see um, Bolt, I think, is just a little bit falling short right now. But they're really responsive to um, suggestions. So uh, this stuff is changing quickly. All right, I'll uh, mark the time later on. Um, basically, let's see what happens. Oh, nice. Okay, those nice icons. Here we go. Cool, cool. And we'll see if it saves it in the state um, in a moment. And then 
will delete it. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, <clears throat> so the edit to deploy, because the edit's easy, the deploy is the hard part. So we click deploy, which is just a prompt at starting, which then leads to probably a tool. And again, I'm not gonna time it, it's just not worth it. So that's nice. All right, so you see, that's the problem. So now I have not claimed this one. So I'm sitting here with the one I claimed. So you can't, unless I'm missing something, easily build and bolt, update and deploy again and again. So um, maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe I should be using Stack Blitz, but that's the level of usability I really want. Um, so let's now go see how this works. How Lovable works. <clears throat> and I don't know what view I'm in. All right, um, so we can play and we can edit. And um, I don't know if anyone knows this, sees this floating effect. It's kind of breaking my brain, but see that? It's pretty neat. Oh, that reminds me, let me try something really quick. So we can save and then we can add And then we can delete and we'll see if it uh, works on the server. But you can do this um, where you can select elements, right? So I could give it a more focused prompt, which I'm not going to do now, but just so you can see some feature that uh, Bolt does not have yet. Again, all these things will keep going back and forth, I bet. All right. So let's deploy again. So publish, redeploy now. That's the domain. Uh, so this is the big win here, and I'm sure they'll catch on over there. And if we go here, same URL, mm, updates. This is nice. So and then we'll delete, and then we'll reload. And yes, it has that floating effect. All right, so that was that's a big win there. So we have, um, in this case, <clears throat> which is different than the first one, we have the three areas. Um, basically, uh, ease of use. Um, I think it's close to a tie. I'm going to give Lovable the upper hand here just because um, of this select feature. Uh, and um, But I, I, it's really close. And then there is the output, um, Bolt won on this one. Um, it really lost in the last one, but there's no doubt it won on this one. That looks really nice. But the most important one is this redeploy. And that to me is why I'm gonna switch to Lovable for a while, keeping an eye on Bolt. Um, so, and then when I get stuck on either, I pull it down in the cursor and start working in there and keep pushing. Will it work with that? I think it will, but I'll have to dig in there and how it integrates with GitHub and, and deployments. That will be an interesting one. All right, so that is it. Um, basically, you know, that's I'll show the score on the screen. Um, and then we'll, uh, I, I was defining the winner as lovable uh, in the last video for all of them almost. Um, but now it's really close, but still lovable because deploy is really important to me. Um, remember to subscribe and, uh, you know, share this uh, if, if, as you, if you liked it.